everybody, welcome to Fire Crew. Today I have something really interesting to show you. So a few days ago we received this in the mail, which contains a WHID cactus, which is this device over here. The WHID cactus is a bad USB, which means that when we stick this onto a computer, it acts like a keyboard and can inject keystrokes in order to achieve certain things. These devices are really popular amongst penetration testers, the most famous of which being the USB rubber ducky. This is a rather cheaper alternative, which I really like and it's probably my favorite bad USB up to now, as it also contains this ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip, which also gives it a few extra functionalities that I'm gonna show on later. So with, within the package co also comes this shell, which makes the WHID cactus look like a normal USB. Let me put it in. And there you go, fully disguised. So the WHID Cactus was designed by Luca Bongiorni. You can follow him on Twitter, I will have the link down in the description below, who is also designing the WHID Cactus Elite these days. Make sure to keep an eye out for that. The WHID Cactus is sold and distributed by a company based in China, which is named April Brother. As it happens, April Brother has sponsored us this review unit and we thank them for that. You can buy the WHID Cactus from the link in the description below from April Brother's website. A last note before I start touring you around the firmware of the WHID Cactus is that it can run four different firmwares. By default, it's loaded with Esploit version 2, but it can also run US Abuse by SensePost, Wi-Fi Ducky from Space Hunt, or Y Ducky by Basic4. Today I'm going to be showing you the default firmware, which is Esploit version 2. If you guys would be interested in seeing the other three firmwares in action, just leave a comment below. So before we tour around the firmware, I first want to show you a couple of useful links. First of all, this is April Brothers website, where you can purchase the cactus. And once again, I want to thank April Brother for sponsoring us this review unit and making this video possible. You can find all the related information about the WHID cactus over here. Also, make sure to check out the WHID Injector GitHub page, where you can find some basic payloads and a lot of information about the other firmwares as well. Also, there's this really interesting thing of weaponizing USB gadgets using the WHID Cactus. As you can see here, somebody tried to weaponize a USB plasma ball. And finally, this is Luca Bongiorni's Twitter account, which I highly recommend you check out. From here you can also stay updated about his latest project which is the WHID Elite. And now to the good stuff. Let's check out our WHID Cactus. So I've connected the device onto the computer and I think I must have gotten a notification about it setting up. No, actually because I've connected it to this computer once again. So when you first connect your WHID Cactus to your computer you will get a quick setup notice. The device setups in just a few seconds and then you're ready to roll. I'm currently connected via Ethernet, but for the purposes of this video I'm going to disable my Ethernet connection because the WHID Cactus works through Wi-Fi. So let me disable my Ethernet and enable my Wi-Fi connection. So when I click here to scan Wi-Fi networks, as you can see amongst the other Wi-Fi networks there is this Ninja network and this one's from my WHID Cactus. The default Wi-Fi credentials for your WHID Cactus can be found on the GitHub page. I'm not quite sure how it was named, but I've changed my defaults and I've named mine Ninja. So I'm gonna go hit connect. So once we're connected to our Cactus's network, we'll just open up a web browser and head over to this IP address, which is a default that can also be changed through the settings. As you can see, I have loaded up the Esploit version 2.7 firmware, and this is the start page for the WHID Cactus. So I'm gonna go through all these options and show you guys what this device can do. So first of all, we have the live payload mode. From this, we can just type in a payload in its scripting language, which is quite easy to pick up, but you can always convert USB rubber ducky scripts to cactus scripts. Then we have this input mode, which essentially converts the cactus to a remote control. So say for example that I want to open up the run prompt, I go here where it says Windows and hit GUI plus R, and this will start up the run prompt, as you can see. Or if I want to open up the task manager, I can just click Control shift plus escape and it will do that for me. Then we have this Dacuino mode, which if you click, you come over to this screen, where you enter a ducky script over here and you can get an Esploit compatible script. So say for example that I want to open a run prompt and type in it. I'm gonna go type GUI R to open up the run prompt. 
and then I'm going to type string hello world and then I'm gonna go hit convert this will convert the script over here and then I can also click run payload and it will run the script on my computer there you go it's typed it typed in hello world going back to the main menu we have the upload payload option from which if you write a payload for the esploit firmware you can just browse it and upload it in a txt file then we can go where it says choose payload as you can see i have already some payloads in here which i will be uploading to github soon enough make sure to keep an eye out for that and i will also be making videos demonstrating their use from here we can either download the payload delete it or run it then we have the list exfiltrated data option from which we can click there and see any data that we may have exfiltrated to our cactus. At this point I should note that, as you can see here, the WHID cactus has about 3 megabytes of storage that you can use to exfiltrate data. Also on this page you will find some information on how to perform data exfiltration, which can be done by either the serial method or by connecting the victim machine and the cactus on the same network, whether that be the cactus's network or the computer's network. And from there you can use HTTP exfiltration, like this, or you can use FTP exfiltration. Then we have a format file system option, which I'm not going to click because it's going to erase everything on my cactus. And we also have the configure esploit option, which are the settings. I'm going to go to those in a second. We also have the upgrade esploit firmware option, which prompts us to upload a new firmware version, or if the cactus is connected to a Wi-Fi that has internet, it can find it automatically. We also have a help option, which gives some information about the WHID cactus. And finally, we have the configure esploit option. These are the cactus's settings. So from here, we can choose the cactus's mode, which is either to join an existing network or create its own. I currently have it to create its own. Whether that network should be hidden or not, its SSID and its password, the channel, the IP address that the WHID Cactus has in that network, the gateway and the subnet, the credentials that are used to log into the esploit settings, whether or not the FTP server should be active and its credentials. And then we also have this interesting option, which is the ES Portal Credential Harvester settings. I currently don't have it enabled, I used to, and it actually was kind of interesting that you can create a sort of captive portal to fish passwords. That would be really interesting if I could host my own files, but I haven't really gotten into that. I I will probably do that and get back to you guys with another video and then we also have some payload settings from which we can set some default timings and also instruct our WHID cactus to run a script when it is first connected to a computer for example here if I tick this every time I connect my cactus to my computer it will try to steal my Wi-Fi passwords and send them via email from here we can just hit apply settings some of these settings might require a reboot so you can just hit this button the device reboots in just a few seconds I really like this bad USB mainly because it has so many options including the FTP, the payload converter, the exfiltration system, the captive portal and the wide selection of firmwares that you can install on it. The only thing that I would like to see improved in future versions or the upcoming WHID Cactus Elite is the ability for it to act also as mass storage which I think the WHID Cactus Elite has that option if I'm not mistaken and it also can accept an SD card. So make sure to follow Luca Bongiorni and keep an eye out for the WHID Cactus Elite. So in conclusion, if you're like me and bad USBs really excite you and you're not really afraid of getting your hands dirty, I highly recommend getting a Cactus WHID, which you can purchase from the link I have below from April Brother. That was it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe for more awesome content. I will see you in the next video.